Hey there and welcome. My name is Diana Sanchez and I'm an educator for the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. All month long from September 15th to October 15th, we will be recognizing and celebrating the rich histories and enduring resilience of the Latinx community. Los Angeles was and continues to be shaped by the countless contributions of Latinx peoples, creating symbols and spaces where our heritage thrives. Today, I want to talk to you about the origin and meaning behind artists and protesters using butterflies as a call to action and empathy for migrant rights. When you think of protests and demonstrations, what symbols come to mind? Fists, peace signs, hearts are a few, but monarch butterflies are commonly used as symbols to represent the dignity and resilience of immigrants. Generally, butterflies represent transformation and rebirth. Some indigenous cultures living in and around Michoacan, Mexico, believe that monarch butterflies are the souls of their ancestors returning to earth for their annual visit in the fall, known as El Dia de los Muertos. The arrival and departure of thousands of butterflies from the US and Canada is due to the yearly migration pattern, which is reflective of Latinx immigration into and out of the US. Across Los Angeles and beyond, we can see immigrant rights groups, protesters, and artists use the monarch to illustrate that all living beings have the right to migrate. Two populations of monarch butterflies live across the United States and Southern Canada, divided by the Rocky Mountains. While the Western group doesn't travel too far to overwinter, the Eastern population of monarch butterflies undergo an incredible journey to survive. During the spring and summer breeding season, each generation of butterfly live for two to five weeks. When temperatures drop, the last generation of butterflies embark on an incredible 3,000 mile journey south to Mexico to overwinter between October and March. This last generation lives up to nine months and only reproduces during their journey back up north. It will take three to four generations to reach their final destination where the migration pattern begins anew. Today, their survival is threatened by human-caused habitat loss and climate change. If you're interested in monarch butterfly conservation, click the links below in the description to connect with Monarch Joint Venture and Eco Life Conservation. You can also become a community scientist by uploading your own pictures of monarch butterflies onto iNaturalist. That will help scientists better understand butterfly behavior. Monarchs are not alone. Animals across the world throughout time have left intolerable living conditions in order to survive, and humans are no different. Immigrants leave their home countries in order to escape war, famine, a strapped economy, or abusive policies. In Latin America, many of these issues stem from policies brought on by U.S. intervention. The ironic anti-immigrant sentiment in the U.S., stoked by racist ideologies and laws, has inspired artists like Fabiana Rodriguez, Cesar Maxit, Ernesto Llerena, and Jenny Peyan to push back. Through their art and partnerships with immigrant rights organizations, these artists aspire to humanize undocumented people, giving dignity to those searching for better opportunity. To learn more about the history of migration from Latin America, watch my partner Steven's video on the Bracero program, or click the link below in the description from the National Park Service. Migration is beautiful. It's a natural phenomenon that has shaped our planet, impacting almost every living being on Earth. As a symbol, the monarch celebrates the beauty of natural systems and the resilience of those faced with injustice and inequity.